Hi Virgo, thanks for showing up to watch your love readings. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personally, I think your Moon sign resonates the best, um, so you can watch what you want. But there's a link in the description box below to um, figure out what your Venus sign is, your Moon, your Rising, all of that, if you don't know. Okay, this is also if you're spying on a Virgo. So let's just get started. What do you want in regards to love in the month of January? You want a fair and balanced relationship. And you really want someone to um, come and offer you love, but like in the verbal sense. Everybody has a different love language, right? But you want someone to like make it really clear to you that they um, love you, that they care for you. You want someone to be sweet in their words and their communications. Um, so what have you learned in love in 2017 and before that? Well, the reason why the communication thing is so important to you is because you've learned that a lot of people are liars um, or just maybe not even effective communication communicators. And this hasn't worked out very well for you in regards to relationships and love in general. So I forgot to mention, this is a reading for both um, singles and couples. So if you're looking for love, um, it's really important to you that you bring in someone honest who's a really good open verbal communicator. That's what you're looking for specifically in January, somebody who's um, forthcoming and open. And then if you are in a relationship already, then it's like these are the things that we wanna manifest into the relationship. I wanna have um, better communication with my partner. Does that make sense? So you're just gonna take it in the context of your own personal situation. Okay, are you ready for love in January 2017? They say in regards to um, your more earthy type energy aspects of life, you know, with work, with home, with routine, things like that. And this has kind of been a theme for a lot of the signs. Uh, you wish you were in a better space with that before you're ready for love to really come in. But again, like other signs, it's saying, you know, if, if you're telling yourself, until I have all of these ducks in a row, until I have a higher paying job, until I have a better um, routine, a more predictable, stable life, that that's a lie you're telling yourself. So actually you are ready for love, but you're making excuses as to why you're not, okay? And they're really earthy energies, like um, things like money, time, Stuff like that is an excuse as to why you're like, oh, it's okay that love hasn't come in for me yet because, you know, I'm just, I got so much going on. That kind of a thing. And it's like, well, that's a lie you're telling yourself. So, you know, there's no problem having that thought, but if you're going to put a lot of credence into believing that thought, then it's going to be hard for you to attract the loving relationship that you want in January. Um, what subconscious energies are going to be coming up for you to work through this month in regards to love? Oh. These are adorable. Um, okay, so on a subconscious level, you really do want to have your happily ever after. That's buried deep down inside somewhere. You want a very like affectionate relationship where you're in tune with one another. You can kind of, it's um, kind of like that psychic energy where you can kind of read each other's minds and emotions without saying a word. That's the kind of relationship that you want. And you want that, but it's buried deep beneath a lot of excuses and things, like I said. Now, um, it's really important, to, for whatever reason, somebody made you feel like you're a bitch <laughs> in the past. Um, that's something that you heard, or maybe that you're like negative, or you're too hard on them, or um, you demand too much kind of an energy. They're like, okay, so first of all, like, that might be a reason why you're having a hard time really expressing this and giving that ask out to the universe. The, because what's happening here is you have both the magician and the chariot card in reverse saying you're not really manifesting it. So the energy is right for love to come in, but you're not really putting it out there that you want this because underneath you do want it and you know that, but it's buried beneath all these layers of bullshit where someone has kind of taken your confidence away. They've made you feel like maybe you're not as deserving of happily ever after and, and love as you actually are. And so they're saying, you know, this is a really good month for you 
to sit and really think about all of the positive, awesome qualities that you have um, to offer a partnership, okay? And what they're saying also is you've got to show yourself love in a lot of different ways in order to feel like you're going, like in order to be able to manifest this relationship because you do want it. You do, but a part of you doesn't believe that it's coming for you and it's actually not coming for you right now because somebody's beat you up a little bit, especially verbally, and you're believing what they've said, okay? So that's that's a little bit of an issue. It, it's um, not that your confidence is totally ruined. Like, you know that you have positive qualities, but you need to build yourself back up a little bit. So there's going to be a zillion different ways that you can do that. Um, you could do it by gratitude journaling. You could do it by um, getting some exercise, by some retail therapy, whatever it is that's going to make you feel good about you. Um, like Virgos especially, like if you um, make your surroundings at home really beautiful or your office really beautiful, you know, uh, rearrange your furniture, get it nice and clean, that kind of a thing, then you're going to be more open to receive this love and more easily manifest it, okay? So... How are you going to open your heart chakra up for love to come flying in? They say, well, it's not going to happen overnight and it's going to be a little bit of effort. You have to find a way to be enthused or excited to do this. Um, some of you are having a hard time stepping away from these negative thoughts. And that's going to be what happened. And, and then they're saying, you know, for a lot of you, it might be hard to do by the end of January because there's a lot of stuff stacked up on top of that underneath desire where you do believe that a happily ever after is possible. Okay. How are you going to ready your mind for love, Virgo? They say it's particularly challenging to not be defensive. That's the first thing. Um, but... You just really need to think about what would make you satisfied. Like what kind of a love relationship is it that you want? What would make you happy? And then furthermore, they want you to examine, for example, um, you know, when, when was there something that you asked for that you wanted and then uh, you got it and you were underwhelmed? They want you to look at that and ask yourself more questions. Like, is that actually what I wanted or did I want something bigger and deeper? Was this like a representation of what I wanted in a smaller sense than what I actually truly desire? Then they say, um, you know, it's it's so many outside circumstances that are making you feel this way. Other people, work, um, money situations, things like that. They're just kind of bringing you down this month. And unfortunately, they're not really in your control. The only thing that is in your control is when you have these thoughts that are not positive, um, to just cast them aside and say, you know what, that might not be accurate. You know, there's more to this than that. And I'm going to just choose to believe something different. Um, how are you going to ready your spirit for love? Okay, so like many other signs this month, you might be sort of pushing love away. Okay, and you're doing this with mixed signal by putting mixed signals out to the universe what's happening is you do deep down want this deep loving bond and relationship you very much want that you want that happily ever after and a part of you believes that it's true but what's happened is that you make excuses for other people right like oh well nobody's perfect so the perfect relationship doesn't exist and when you say that then you're chipping away at that little bit of hope that you have that the perfect relationship for you does exist okay so they're saying um you really need to be open to love you really need to infuse a lot of love into your life a lot of joy a lot of happiness a lot of um, gratitude for the little things this helps me personally a lot i'm a virgo rising so i will write in my gratitude journal um Thank you for the internet. Thank you for electricity. For dumb shit. Thank you for oxygen. Thank you for health. Thank you for safety. Uh, just because then it's going to rise my vibration. And then when I'm ready to uh, gratitude for something in advance, like thank you for the love that's coming to me, then it goes out in a more positive way. And I'm actually drawing that in instead of throwing a wall up because I don't actually believe it. 
They're saying this is um, like a, a weak area for you right now and that's something to work on developing. What's a positive thing that you can do this month to either attract a partner or grow or increase the love between you and your current partner? Okay, so this is interesting because it's saying that you can close the door on some things. You can end certain ways or um, patterns from before. And they're like, it's really not even actually that deep. This is stuff you've already thought about. It's just about applying it. So if you've decided that you're not going to call your husband an asshole anymore, um, well, it's not even that deep. It's not something you have to think about. You decided it a while back. You just have to apply it now, right? So you're going to be more loving that way. Because this, this month for you is a lot about verbal a verbal kind of energies, like more that air kind of energy. And so it's saying that, you know, specifically if you could say your positive affirmations would be helpful. I like to do that when I'm driving, like at a stoplight. I will say as many positive affirmations as I can think of before it turns green. Little things like you, you can, little life hacks like that throughout the day will be very helpful for you. They're saying um, what you can do is apologize for not being so romantic in the past. You know, and so you could, if you're in a partnership, you could say, you know what, there were a lot of opportunities where I could have been more romantic or I could have showed you more love. And I'm sorry that I didn't. And moving forward, I'm going to try harder to do that. If you're not in a relationship, you can do that by saying, I forgive myself for not showing myself enough love in different circumstances. Or, you know, I really regret that my relationship with, you know, so-and-so went poorly I can forgive myself for, you know, my actions in that relationship that made it kind of unravel. They say it's not so much about focusing on the past. You don't so much have to do that. It's just as things come up, forgive others, for, forgive yourself and do better. It's, it's actually kind of simple. It's a very strange month for Virgos. I feel like there's something else hidden here in the month of January for Virgos that we need to find out about, I'm just not asking the right question. So let's see what that energy is about. Okay. So for those of you who are in marriage, like relationships, they're very committed, domestic partnerships, maybe you are married. They're saying, um, being super open to receive love is going to be important to you or for you to grow your relationship, especially in the form of gifts. So if somebody is trying to give you a gift, okay, and you're like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want that, or don't spend the money on that, this month is not the month to be that way. It's just to say thank you so much and really appreciate it and then show them love in return. Now for the rest of you, what else is there that we need to know? They're saying that all of the relationships of the past that hadn't worked out for you, it's very clear to you now with this Cancer Moon that they all had to kind of fall apart because they weren't the right thing. Like you didn't want the same things as each other. And they're saying, so now that you've recognized that, you can totally move forward and attract new love in a way that is more stable and aligned with who you are as a Virgo specifically. But... Um, in order to achieve and like and receive the things that you want on a day-to-day -day basis so if you are a person who tries to manifest things if you like write down a list or you kind of say to the universe what it is that you want i would make sure that i am asking for somebody whose life aligns with mine you know like we have a similar work schedule um or if if you like to go to the gym that they like to go to the gym or like me personally i never go to the gym so i wouldn't want a meathead i wouldn't want someone who spends 70 hours a week there because we'd clash you know so asking about day-to-day -day specifics thinking about those kind of things um so now I'm going to switch decks here and I'm going to get an overall uh, meditation theme for you and then some positive affirmations that you can use in order to try to improve your love life in the month of January. And they're saying use your breath. Breathing exercises are going to be very important for you. And so before I give you those affirmations, I'm going to give you a technique that helps me a lot. Um, over the top of my head, through the crown chakra, I imagine kind of a white light coming through my head as I take deep breaths and moving all the way through my body. Now you're going to push any other energies, like you might have dark 
colors in there. You might have all sorts of different colors in there. But, but you'll feel like as the white light energy is coming through your body, it might get stuck in certain places. So if it gets stuck right here, um, you would ask spirit, God, Allah, angels, whatever you believe in, to open up that heart chakra to help heal it. If it gets throat stuck here, it'd be your throat chakra and so on and so forth. Um, but just in general, you just ask for help in clearing any energy that is negative away and then replacing it, filling it up with the energy of white colors, um, like love and light energy, okay? So that's going to help you. As you push everything out of either your feet or your root chakra into the ground, when your entire body is filled up with this love, light energy, you're going to want to encircle yourself with a white bubble, and it's kind of serving you as um, a bubble of protection and helping you to radiate radiate out this love light energy that will thereby attract others to your life. Okay, so I am inhaling more deeply and slowly. So you'll do this with that white light coming through. My breath is a bridge between my mind and my body. I am aware of each small physical sensation as I breathe in and out. And like I said, pay attention in your body where that energy is getting stuck because it will be a clue as to what kind of things you need to work through in the month of January in order to attract love. So love and light and see you next month. Bye Virgo.